I think the diversity of presentations um, is truly amazing, and uh, and uh, I want to bring uh, bring everyone sort of to the middle, from the outer space in uh, 2095 to uh, South Sudan, which may be in a different age of technology, and share with you a bit. Uh, what I am working on. My research now is on employee experience, and I think that this is what really connects technology and people. And um, it is a path that HR will be taking in evolving from where we were just about a century ago um, to where we are now. This is from the very familiar image to the WeWorks in Shanghai. And what I want to say here, looking at the slides and reflecting on some of the presentations here is, you know, people and technology is not um, a new topic. And what's different now to me and where I am focused is not about the gadgets and robotics and uh, the new flashy um, tools that we have, but about how we now have the capability to access that, uh, that humanity in us enhance it and actually make it uh, the center of what we are working on. And as we know, we started out in uh, the um, administrative HR and kind of moved to the, uh, toward the uh, work for talent. And now that we all know that the talent has won, uh, where do we land in the early 21st century? And it is in um, looking at uh, what HR as a function that was the custodian of um, human resources, human capital, and people in the organization, what it can do not just for the exclusive 10% of high potentials, but for all the humans in the organization. And if we look at this long list of roles that HR has played, and traditionally for the last at least 50 years in organizations, how do we, using digital tools and uh, new ways of thinking about each other, how can we service all the humans who are working for us and who are living on this planet? That's the challenge we have. And the challenge is not so much in inventing tools, but the challenge is really about transitioning from where we are now to where we need to be and taking everyone with us. So welcome to the X factor. And it is about humanity and it is about the experience. And clearly, it is somewhat behind the times because UX and what is UX? User experience has been there for a while. CX? customer experience, DX, digital experience, EX, employee experience, let's take us to HR, and CX of HR, customer experience of HR. So this is the experience economy, the X factor, where we live now and what do we need to do? And what we need to do is really think about how we design things, what we do with what we have. Because less, the lessons that we learned is that from the experience perspective, and that focus on experience changes things. It changes things in a way that, as you can see here, a quote from marketing, from user experience space, people ignore design that ignores people, and it's all about the design. So what my message to you and the, um, and the focus of my work now is how do we become in HR the designers of experience, right? And so the question and the challenge for us is that we've never been asked to do that. We've never been asked. We've been asked to administer. We've been asked to um, follow compliance. We've been asked to monitor but we've really been invited to actually design, design for the human experience. So I think it's a new skill and that's what we need to learn. So the future, 
I think, of the profession and the future of people management, whether it's HR, talent, or whatever we call it, is going to be in the sweet spot of, of this human-centric innovation. And it is about everything that my colleagues here said. It's about the business value, the viability. It is about technology, of course, the te feasibility, the technical side. But what's most important, it is about humanity. It's about the convergence of these very important three uh, components. And, and this is my final slide. I'm very quick. I was told five slides. I want to paraphrase the marketing mantra um, about that people don't buy products, don't buy into brands, then buy into better selves. And I would say, let's look at employees and people working for us from exactly that perspective, that people don't join companies and organizations just to get a job. They're actually looking to become a better versions of themselves. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, great job, Anna. Thank you. Ooh.